God save the Queen. Uh, the celebrations for Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee kicking off today in London. 70 years on the throne. Most are excited, but not everyone. Prince William and the Duchess Kate, their youngest four-year-old Prince Louis, uh, seemed less than thrilled to pose on the balcony. I love him so much. He's so great. Noticeably absent. Harry and that homewrecker, they are in London. Oh, yeah, she had to be seen through the door. Uh, they're not part of the formal ceremonies, and uh, Prince Andrew conveniently tested positive for COVID. So what else can we expect from the festivities? Joining me now to discuss former private secretary to Princess Diana, author of Shadows of a Princess, Patrick Jeffson joins me. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Kennedy. It's good to be here. So I have to tell you, I think... Ten years ago, people in the United States, they might have been curious, but they wouldn't be as interested as they are in the Platinum Jubilee. And because of the success of The Crown on Netflix, people are so engaged with the Queen. They are so intrigued by her story. And they cannot consume enough of this Platinum Jubilee. Tell me about The Crown Effect. <laughs> Well, The Crown is a wonderful piece of drama. Uh, I mean, it's not a documentary. So what you have to uh, realize is that what you see there is a is Peter Morgan's representation, his portrayal of the people and the events. But I can say that from, from my perspective, he gets the portrayal very largely right. It's not, it's not uh, a documentary, but it is authentic. And the people, the circumstances, the events, the atmosphere, are all uncannily realistic. Who do you think has benefited most uh, from the, the positive magnetism of the crown, uh, the queen herself or Princess Diana? Uh, because people who knew a lot about Princess Diana beforehand, I think, feel an even deeper and more intimate emotional connection to her uh, after the crown. Are you, are you a coordinator with the show? I consult the, with the show. They uh, they ask me for occasional uh, advice on historic detail, mm -hmm. and I've certainly had the pleasure of speaking with Emma Corrin, who was the extraordinarily lifelike Princess Diana in season she four. She was amazing. Yeah, it really uncanny. It was like uh, seeing the princess all over again. But I think in terms of popularity, um, you know, a rising tide floats all boats. I think that that although there are some kind of uh, royal loyalists who enjoy, I think, looking down their noses at the crown, the reality is that it engages people on a human level in a wonderful way. And that reminds us that the royal family are not just uh, stuffed images. They are real people. And the queen has been uh, surrounded by the drama her entire life, and yet she has endured. Tell me about the significance of this Platinum Jubilee. Uh, is there something deeply sentimental about hitting this 70-year mark and the fact that this may be the last major milestone that uh, all of Great Britain gets to partake in with the Queen? It is extraordinarily significant, just the longevity of the Queen. I mean, this is her fourth Jubilee, 70 years as head of state. Mm -hmm. That's the longest reigning British monarch in history. And there is a sense, certainly for somebody of my age, you know, hard to believe, but I'm in my 60s, and I have never known any other head of state. The Queen has been like a constant presence in my life, in, in uh, the lives of everybody in the country, and indeed around the world. And that is a terribly important psychological uh, reality, in many ways reassuring through all the ups and downs of national life. And the prospect now of her reign coming to an end as inevitably it must, mm. is very, very uh, concerning, naturally. But it also, with the Jubilee, gives us a chance to look back with gratitude and joy at all she has achieved. Yes, that's a, that's a really good point. And I think that's what people certainly in this country are doing as they, as they learn more about her year after year. And we don't have something to uh, compare that with. You know, we don't have a similar institution. So, you know, but to, to know that there has been a stable, patriotic woman, uh, a woman of deep faith, who has been around uh, since the Truman administration, it's, uh, it's, it's really impressive to Americans.
Americans, considering all that has happened around her and her family. Patrick, thank you so much uh, for sharing that. It's good to talk to you. Thanks, Kennedy. Absolutely.